Are we live? We are live. We are live. I am barely alive, ladies and gentlemen. This one was not meant to happen, but I'm pushing through for me and for you. I've got my Ricola's. I've got my throat spray. I've got my vitamin C. And uh, funny enough, I've also got COVID. That's right. <laughs> not that I was going to make money on the stream to begin with, but uh, I'm definitely not now. Uh, anyway, hello. Good to have you here. My name is Kyle. If you uh, if you don't know me, I wonder how you found me. <laughs> There's only one way you can find out. Drop a message in the chat. I will be hanging out in the chat. I'm just going to edit a few photos. We're going to hang out. Listen to some sweet, some lo-fi, copyright-free uh, <laughs> music. And I'm going to lose my train of consciousness many times. But uh, we're going to have a good time while we do it. Uh, I'm going to give you guys some ASMR right off the bat. What if we do that? What if we start with a throat spray? No, let's not start with that. That's the weird one. Let's start with a, uh, let's start with a C vitamin tablet. <laughs> I wonder if you can hear this. So I'm going to take one of these C vitamin tablets. Oh my God. There we go. Oh, did you see that puff of smoke? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Let's uh, let's put this to the mic and let's see if we can hear anything. This is stupid. Uh, I might have to turn off the mic a little bit. Okay, I'm going to turn the mic down. <laughs> yeah. Can you hear it at all? <laughs> this is, <laughs> I bet this is not what you expected. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, that's good stuff. I'll drink that in a second when it's done. Um, oh, it might be even louder now. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Cool. I'm having a good time. Uh, I don't know if the one person watching right now is having as much fun as I am, but uh, I'm stoked to be here. I'm going to show you the photos that I'm editing. How good does my voice sound when I'm sick, by the way? God, I wish I could just keep this. Uh, let's see. I wish I could keep the voice without the pain. So I'm going to edit this photo. I just posted this on my Instagram. Um... This is a uh, fun one. <laughs> this one took a lot of work. This was very difficult. I'll explain it uh, in a second. Um, this one's also kind of a fun story. It's not that fun, but it was just a fun little personal challenge I gave myself. Uh, I'll explain that. And then this is from a uh, shoot I had with a uh, clothing company here in Norway. Um, super heavy snow day pretty rad and then just the day after I went out skiing for fun and brought the camera and got this of my homegirl Silly Amdahl I know I messed up that name and I apologize Silly if this ever reaches you uh, but she's a gangster she is a gangster you guys are gangsters for being here uh, I like to think I'm a gangster for pushing through COVID-19 or COVID-2020, whatever it is at this point. Can we just give up on the variants and call it COVID whatever year it shows up? Or is that? Okay, I'm an idiot. Maybe I just won't talk about it. I'm going to give myself a little squirt with this thing. Look at this. Look at the transform. Fantastic. Let's see. Can you hear the squirt? <laughs> I don't know why it's so scary every time I do it. Okay, all right, a little bit sharp. Uh, if if this is a review of throat sprays, I'm giving this uh, uh, two spritz out of three. Pretty good experience. Good stuff. Okay, uh, and then the Ricola. Uh, <laughs> yes, delicious. You're going to hear that bounce around, and I'll crunch it later, and uh, we'll all have a good time. Let's start with the main attraction. This is what we're here for, right? 
welcome everybody if you are new to the stream if you are not new to the stream if you are medium new to the stream join the chat because i'm there I'm reading everything you post in my sweet, sick, sultry voice, which I like a lot better than my real voice. <laughs> and uh, if it wasn't for the sore throat, the immense pain that I'm in, I would pray to have this voice every day. Edward, can I? Yo, I'm here. Good to see you, man. Sorry, Edward, for the lack of... Um, car <laughs> content today but uh, i know you appreciate some ski content i know i got you jfh hello jfh i don't know your real name first in a while 98 i assume you were born in 1998 how are the kids finding my streams these days first of all i'm gonna try to flatten this image a bit try to bring it to what i hoped it would be when i shot it um it was super dark uh, it was actually pitch black because I think this was shot at 2 in the morning, maybe 1.30, something like that. Uh, we wanted to go shoot like a 2006. What? Children. Children. <laughs> Thank you for being here, JFH. Stoked to have you, man. Uh, yeah. Thank you for sticking it out with me. Yeah, more about this photo. This was shot... We thought we were just going to go to this, like, roadside cliff, shoot a pretty fun little photo, and, you know, get it out of our system. We met up at 11 o'clock or 10.30 or something, and uh, it just didn't look good enough to me. So we kept hiking and hiking, and after, like, 400 vertical meters, maybe an hour of hiking through, like, really tight trees, and I'm a terrible hiker. Uh, this is Bern Marius. Bern Marius is a badass Solomon uh, free ski athlete. We're both on the Solomon team. Uh, I'm just going to play around while I'm talking. Uh, he is an absolute monster on skis. Super strong, powerful skier. And he drug my dead weight up there. I had my flashes, my Profoto B10 Pluses in my bag. Uh, I had a few lenses. This is the 1635 2.8 on the Sony A1. And, oh my god, sorry, you're going to hear a bunch of weird noises from my COVID recovery. Uh, and we just went crazy. Uh, it was snowing so hard. It was snowing so hard. So the modeling lamps broke. I couldn't have constant light. So it looks really bright in this photo, but it was pitch black. Uh, and when we saw this little cabin, I sort of guilted him into building a jump off of it. <laughs> I don't think he wanted that. I think we were just looking for like a quick powder turn at first uh but enough of that let's let's build a photo um i don't like how bright it is here in the corner so i'm gonna flatten that out uh that spray really worked spray the drink the ricola i should be sponsored by ricola oh vitamin c i'm deep in it I'm deep in it. How are you guys doing today? Today's a tough day for uh, for a lot of us. Um, not that I'm qualified to talk about it, but the news in the Ukraine is is hurting. Um, it's hurting. Feeling helpless. Uh, stoked you guys are here. I mean, this is all we got, right? We all we got. We all we need. Stoked you guys are here with me. Uh, I think. No, let's get rid of the purples. Let's get rid of the purples. Purples go to blue. Blue, I might add later, but for the sake of it, I'll just leave quite a lot of it. Um, if I click select subject, do you think it will know he's there? Let's try it. I'm going to try to back away from the mic every time I make weird mouth noises. Okay, that's a subject, I guess. All right, that's pretty good. So let's subtract the house. Uh, we'll use the brush because I don't want it to affect the house. I just want to sort of make him pop a bit more. And then let's brighten him up. And as we brighten him up, it's going to flatten a lot of the darks. 
So I'm also going to add just a little bit of uh, uh, contrasts and punch with clarity and maybe dehaze. How you guys doing? Everybody's quiet in the chat. I need you guys to give me something to respond to. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to pass out and die midstream. <laughs> COVID lifestyle. Um, ah, see, if you go too far, it just flattens it out so much. Maybe you can do that and just add back in some contrast. I'm so slow. I think that's about as far as I want to play with it. Uh, so we flatten the photo out a lot. Doing good. JFH, stoked to hear that, man. Stoked to hear that. Where are you guys at? What's going on in your uh, in your neck of the woods? Everybody healthy? Everybody taking care of each other? I'm trying to open this up in uh, Photoshop. It's just taking a second. Because my computer is... Uh, Notoriously slow. Uh, here we go. Okay, we got a, a, pro, a progress bar. So it's coming. There it is. Okay, cool. We're happy. We're happy. We made it. Uh, I don't like that you can see. I mean, look at this. Like, look at all the snow here. It was snowing so much. He hiked up maybe like, I don't know. Using these tracks, he hiked up about... A minute before this photo was taken look at how deep it was already it was dumping that was that was a cool uh, trip uh, I'm gonna create a new layer so that I can undo anything I don't like that I've done and I'm just gonna get rid of things like this I'm just gonna do it fast and sloppy and let's test the power of Photoshop oh let's go hard this one's gonna be tough to let's see that's a huge piece. Moving mountains. Can I, how do you like the Sony A1 so far? Um, I love it. I really love it. It's... God, I mean, how do you even put it in the words? It is the best camera ever made. Uh, it's, like, perfect. It does everything so well. It, it's, like, films as good as any DSLR has ever filmed. It shoots as fast as any DSLR will ever need to shoot. The file size, 50 megapixels, is, like, perfect for me. Because I don't want too big of files, but I still need a lot of information to play with. It's so good. And there's a reason it's 80,000 Norwegian kroner. Um, but for your own money... Uh, I'm just gonna put it out there again. I am a Sony ambassador, so I get a lot of help with uh, things like these and acquiring cameras and equipment. So for my own money, that's a lot of money. I'd have to think about it, but it is definitely, definitely money well spent. Uh, I wouldn't regret it for a second. Having said that, a lot of people are getting their A7IVs now, and that's like a mini A1. That thing is also absolute monster, absolute monster. Holvart. Halvard, good to see you. Wish we could have teamed up when I was in Toronto, I'm Halvard. Um, I decided to fly home and die instead. Uh, that would have been fun. It's so hard with photos like this when you're backlighting something. Like, this flash was maybe 20 meters away, and then I had another flash up here to my left. Um, and that just sort of blew out the whole photo with all this snow. It's crazy, so much snow. Since the Turbo S is sold, maybe I should upgrade to A1. I wouldn't do it, actually. Um, <clears throat> sorry about that. I don't know if I would do it. Yeah, I don't know. I uh, Is photography your main income, Edward? If it is, then maybe you can justify it, but I think your money's better spent on an A7 IV right now um if you're not like a hundred and twenty percent committed to commercial and living on your photography uh it's just so fast like you don't need 30 frames at 50 megapixels per second there's no point unless unless you have a reason like if you're a journalist or something then yeah that's it's crazy it's wild but to come home from like a racetrack when you're shooting and have a thousand 500 photos and a lot of them are the same is like 
It's definitely a luxury. Is it a necessity? That's the question. Spend the money on a car, man. Buy an A7 IV, maybe another lens just to make yourself and your photography a little bit challenged. And uh, spend the money on a new car. What would you get? Do you have a... What are you driving right now, Edward? Sorry I keep calling you by your first name. I'm doxing you. <laughs> but I assume people can just search Kanai Media. Um, okay, let's add some punch back into this photo. Uh, I'm going to push a lot of focus towards the middle. And I'm also going to add some highlights on the landing. So it sort of helps with the storytelling. I'm going to make it long and narrow. And then I'm going to just sort of slap it here. Yeah, that would have been fun. Six shot from Sogndal. Thank you very much, man. Uh, Sogndal was fun, and I do want to go back if it keeps snowing. I'm driving my mom's Corolla. I did not expect that from a man whose Instagram is full of turbo S's and R8s. But uh, the Corolla's a good car. I'm not going to hate it. Uh, we've lit up quite a lot of the sky. I don't think we wanted to. God, it's so hot in this room. I'm going to start sweating. I didn't even think of that. I went for the uh, sick hood up look. <laughs> I might try to put some more emphasis on this roof as well. What would you drive next? What would you buy next? What's the next car? Do you have anything in mind? Something impractical? Or are you going to wait until summer and get something uh, fun? Getting a new car soon. Okay, so you're about to answer that question before before I was patient enough to wait for your response. Let's see. Now I'm excited. The delay is killing me. Um, if you're shooting stars or snow and you really want it to pop, do like a linear gradient. Drag it from the top uh, with clarity up, dehaze up, and then texture a little bit. I don't want to like create an inconsistency among the texture across the photo, but just a little bit and watch how much it pops. So you start to bring down the darks uh, and you really start to get a lot of detail out of that snow. Pretty dope. V10, 610 horsepower. It is an Audi R8 V10 Plus. Badass. Badass. I thought you had an R8 already. <laughs> I'm just assuming. <laughs> um, you know what's crazy about this photo? I didn't even bring this up yet. We hiked so long that late at night, uh, 400 vertical meters or something, uh, and he sent it so hard. He's such a hard skier. He has one leg. That's incredible. He has a prosthetic leg, and yet he's eight times as powerful of a skier than I am. His story is incredible, actually. Bernd Marius. Um, I'm sure it's easy enough to find if you Google it, but uh, I think it was a ski paragliding accident. And he's back out there doing the same shit. <laughs> Just an absolute gangster. Did I just spoil your car reveal? <laughs> I don't know. I hope I didn't, man. I hope I'm wrong about that. I hope it's some other crazy V10. I hope it's like a tuned up E60 M5 or something. Something that nobody would expect. <laughs> um, I don't know how much more I want to do this photo. I do want it to be a little bit more blue. Uh, let's see. Let's play with the color grading. Let's just add some blue to the... Ah, there we go. There we go. We're getting a little crazy now. And yeah, I don't remember what else I did to the photo, but it's looking pretty accurate, right? Maybe a little bit more blue. He's a little bit darker than what it was in the... I'm going to highlight his face a bit. <laughs> he's, uh, he's very excited. Have you gone to see the Valkyrie, by the way, Edward? If you're still here? If not, I'm just talking to myself. Yeah, 
If not, you should go check that car out. That thing is absolutely insane. It's hard to call it a car. I don't know what it is. It's like a different species. But I've probably talked about that thing enough <laughs> on stream. Uh, okay, let's look at the before. Text. Ooh. Uh, I took a PCR test yesterday. Let's see what the result is. Keep in mind, I already got this test result. I'm going full screen for this. For the, it's a big reveal. Keep in mind, on my home test, I already tested positive a few times. I just got my test results for my PCR test. This second, let's see. Oh, I have to log in. I'm gonna, okay. As I log in, I will, uh, I will keep entertaining you guys a little bit. So here's the before. No, that's not even the before. That was after some correction, but that's a massive difference just after Photoshop. There's the before. So I flattened it, took it to Photoshop, added some punch, added some coloring. Oops. Sorry guys, I'm really curious. I wanna open this up on stream. See the chat, what's going on? That car was insane. Yeah, you went to see the Valkyrie? What'd you think? Did you get to like open it up and walk around and take a look or was it um, locked off in that fishbowl they got it in? Come on, it must be, it must be positive, right? I have to be. Let's see, I'm excited to see what this says. It's just basically so I can go travel. Uh, 2302, that was when I got, hey, ladies and gentlemen, I am officially Corona positive. We did it, I'm proud of us. You were here, you saw it happen live on chat. Yeah, <laughs> I am positive and now that is on my passport or whatever it is forever, we did it. You did it, ladies and gentlemen. Glad you guys were here for it. Um, cool. So I'm gonna explain. <laughs> Petter, congrats. Thank you, Petter. <coughs> Thank you very much. Very nice of you. <coughs> oh my god. I was scared this would just turn into a cough fest. I hope it doesn't. I haven't been coughing too much, so I think we're okay. It was locked, yeah. They don't want anybody breathing on that car. I wouldn't either. The windshield wiper is 50,000 euros alone. Homer says, did you flash the lights when you took the photo or was it constantly on? Noob with lights over here. Um, yeah, here, I can go back and explain that a little bit. <clears throat> I use uh, Profoto B10 Plus lamps. Um, they are pretty monstrously powerful little wireless flashes. Uh, they do have constant modeling lamps, but for something this high speed where I have to shoot like one four hundredth of a second, um, you need more light than the modeling lamp gives. The modeling lamp is great. <clears throat> it's fantastic, but <clears throat> oh my God. Okay. It's just not strong enough. And the modeling lamps broke because uh, it was too wet and too snowy. And it was so windy. It was so windy. It was gusting to like 15 meters a second. It was insane. Um, so when the, the modeling lamps broke, every time I would turn it on, the flash itself would turn off. So I had to leave the modeling lamps and then I would get one flash at a time before the lamps turned off. So we had two tries at this. He fell on the first try, which was pretty wild because it was pitch black when he landed. Like if you can imagine, there's no consistent lighting. It's just a flash, right? It's only this light for one photo and he's got the headlamp, which I mean, when he's taking off, the headlamp doesn't reach the landing. So he doesn't know where he's going. Um, it was pretty wild. So yeah, it was a flash and it was like a hope and a prayer that the flash would work because like half the time it wasn't triggering. Uh, my trigger's broken from that forever as well. Uh, I can't control 
much of the flash from the trigger anymore. So yeah, to answer your question, Allard, uh, these were flashes. They were not constantly on. Uh, and it was pitch black when we did this. And he is a monster for having dropped in in pitch blackness and sent this. I tried to convince him to do a backflip, but yeah, right after this landing, it's uh, just trees. So I don't think he wanted to risk that. <laughs> I'm kind of a bad influence when it comes to that. Now you're a pandemic approved. Yes, Eric. Idic, sorry. My vision is dying with my COVID. It is Idic. Thank you, Idic. I finally made it. <clears throat> so when I was driving back from Songdal, uh, I was waiting for the ferry and I was bored because it's a very long drive. And the ferry was going to be at the port. It was about halfway back. It was going to be at the port in like, I don't know, maybe like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So I was like, okay, I'm going to shoot uh, five photos. I'm going to get them edited and uh, published on my story by the time I get off the ferry. That was the goal. The ferry was about 30 minutes long. So I had about 40 minutes total to take photos. Um, be creative enough, one, to find a photo. Uh, be efficient enough, two, to drop the photo in, on my hard drive. Uh, and be uh, diligent enough to stop myself from editing too much so I didn't take too much time. So I took this photo and I took a couple others, but I'm just going to edit this one for now. Uh, and I'll try to do it similar to what I did. I know I made it a little bit colder, but I think I did a lot of that in uh, the color grading. So let's do this. I remember it being pretty cinematic. Um, get some detail going. Save some of these shadows so you can still see the green. I don't like clarity so much anymore. I'm not much of a clarity guy these days. Um, yeah, I think I did everything in Lightroom as well, so I will stick to that. Changes here quite a lot. I'm gonna darken it because I want more punch in the mountains and in the dark spots of the ocean. So right about there, and then purple. I don't know if there's any purple, but sometimes it's just sort of hiding. So I'm going to drop that to blue. Okay. Uh, sometimes the green is actually yellow in Photoshop. I don't think this is the case. I am right. I'm just going to bring that up so it's a little more obvious. Um, yeah. Then let's do some color green. And I'm just going to get a little creative this just gonna move things around until I think it makes sense highlights I'm gonna warm up not too warm still too warm I want a little more yellow yeah there we go who's ready for the crunch oh that's satisfying <laughs> that was a long time in the making um okay Instead of doing this through vignetting, I'm going to add some focus with the linear gradients just to be different. So I'm going to try to push everybody's eyes towards the middle. Uh, maybe that's too dark. Maybe I just want the blacks. There we go. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing on top. God, I just want to go to the gym to today. I just want to do things. I want to go outside and be a part of the world. <laughs> I know it's still legal. I know I can still do it, but man, it feels super sketchy to leave this apartment right now. <laughs> Thank you for correcting your spelling there. Oh, Lord. I didn't know what you meant. <laughs> uh, okay. That's pretty good. I don't think I want to add any, if, I mean, dehaze adds a lot of punch and more texture, but I think it also makes it too saturated and punchy as well. I'm also going to take away some clarity. Ah, let's do highlights instead. There we go. There we go. Holbert, what you're doing up in Trondheim with Porsche Center Trondheim is badass, by the way. <laughs> I think you're killing it up there. 
You were at the ice driving thing, right? Am I right in thinking that? A lot of people ice driving these days. I've got some sick ice driving photos I gotta edit, but uh, they're still under lock and key, so I can't really show them yet, sadly. Um, I don't think I did much more than this. I mean, I could go like extreme and just sort of really force the viewer's eyes to the middle. Let's do that. Why not? It's fun. Woo! Boom! <laughs> we made it 30 minutes without me dying. Wow. That's incredible. I gotta drink my water. Oh. We're doing it. We're doing it, ladies and gentlemen. The COVID stream. Cool. So, let's look at uh, before... And after. Yeah, pretty wild. A little bit cinematic. Kind of fun. Why not? Fun little challenge. I had a good time. Let's give it a three. Um, let's get into some action. Yeah. Shredding with Silly Amdahl. Um, this was the same day, actually, earlier in the day as that night photo. This was a fun one. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yes, I was at the ice track thing. at here. can... Uh, last weekend, that was so much fun. It looked rad. It looked dope. <clears throat> oh my god. I'm just gonna die on camera. I'll just die on camera and make this a lot easier on all of us. Now I'm out of water, so I have no safety net. Okay, let's uh, let's do this. Here we go. We're back. We're killing it. Did you get to drive during that ice track thing? Did they let you take any of the cars out? It's always like 50-50. And it's so scary to ask too, sometimes, at least in the beginning. But like, is it worth just putting in your contract? <laughs> like when you uh, organize, just be like, hey, uh, if I'm gonna do this, you have to give me an hour of driving in one of your cars. I've started doing that at Roots Kogan whenever I shoot there. So let's see. This song is depressing. There we go. There we go. Um, okay, I'm going to lighten down here quite a lot to get rid of some of the mess. Let's go right in the photo. Give us some punch. And take away a lot of the blue. A lot of the blue. If I go all the way down, it becomes a black and white photo. Okay. Reds. Just on the tip of the ski. I guess they're pink. Yeah, they are mostly pink. Let's make them all... Red. I think this was supposed to be orange, but just for the sake of the photo, let's keep it that way. Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. Pieces. Ah, there's something weird about it. It's that this is actually supposed to be purple. Yeah. Okay. Then we can't really just drop the purples. Uh, we have to leave the purples where they are. I uh, did not get to drive, unfortunately. I did not ask either, though. Um, but I joined a few of the drivers, which was pretty fun as well. Maybe next time. Yeah, I I have a hard time with that stuff. Um, this I had a hard time with this in the ski industry as well when I worked in skiing, is that the more I put in effort into getting work and stuff in skiing, the less I actually got to ski myself um and that sucked and it kind of bears true with anything i guess the more you work with something the more you have to work at like making that thing look good and not being a part of that thing um but they have to understand that we are i mean we're there because we love cars right we love driving so there has to be some sort of understanding that's you know, let's make this black and white. 
Let's do black and white. We haven't done black and white in a while. That would save us a lot of effort. So they have to understand that, like, we, I mean, we, we want to drive. It's kind of our thing. Uh, okay. Yeah. So here we go. We got to make sure the logo stands out because she is a Solomon athlete. She's one of the newest ones, actually, and she's a badass. Um, look at all the snow. It was so hard. This was shot on 7,200. Uh, it was so hard to see through it. I'm not going to make her completely... I think select subjects will work here. Let's give it a try. Let's see what happens. If we circle her, maybe it'll go better. I already know it's not going to work. Look at it. It's all the way down here. Wait, no, that's not it. This is it. Why is it over here? Oh, my God. That's the subject? Why does it not work? It seemed like such a cool feature until, like, you start to use it. And then, like, 90% of the time, it just misses. Uh, portraits, it works pretty well, actually. Uh, I don't know how much you guys have played with it, but... I haven't played with it that much either. To be honest. Look at how slow this computer is. Come on. Just trying to mask out all of it. All of it but her. What's going on? I need feedback. I'm gonna need to. I need to hear what's going on in people's lives. Okay, let's let's just make it obvious where she is. Let's bring this up to 20. Highlights up as well. Uh, we're not gonna do too much more than that. We just want her to be visible. Uh, a little bit more contrast than the rest of the place, so your eyes go straight to her. And then one way we can also do that is by adding some body, um, adding some circle gradients from the side or radial gradients and just sort of brighten it up. It's like a reverse vignette. It will push your eyes in closer, uh, create a new mask. Same thing on the other side. Okay. There we go. Okay, so now there's a lot of focus on her. Gotta go catch a bus. Going bouldering. Dude, that sounds fun. Have a good time. Good to see you, Halvard. Next time I'm up in Toronto, I'm, let's shoot. And next time you're down in Oslo, reach out. All right, I'm just going to finish this photo. Maybe add some gradient to the sky. Let's brighten it up. I'm not going to select sky. It's not going to know what the hell to do. There we go. So before. And after. Kind of a fun black and white. A lot of action. Super clean. A lot of punch. Still a little bit of details in the ground, so you know what's up. Uh, but a lot of push towards her. <coughs> All right. Let's go full screen. I'm taking over. I'm taking over. Ladies and gentlemen, if you made it this far, uh, congratulations. And I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Uh, this might have to be it. Once again, I'm dying. Uh, as you can see, and as my PCR test proves, I have COVID. COVID-22. E and W, black and white, is underrated. This is fire. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. And thank you for being here. Uh, sorry I didn't stick to the normal plan. Uh, I stream 6 o'clock on Wednesdays uh, at Central Eastern Time because I live in Oslo, and that's all I know because I'm a dumbass. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we made it happen. We made it happen. Stoked to be here. Stoked to have you guys here. Uh, like, subscribe, all of that. And next time I'll be healthy. So Wednesday, 6 o'clock. See you then. Anyway, for now, bye a lot.